Hello everyone. In this video, we will deploy OneDrive client to my three Windows 10 machines. The first one is Azure AD joined, which is directly joined to Cloud Azure AD. The second one is Azure AD registered. So this is a personal user machine, which he has registered to the uh, Azure AD. So it is not joined to Azure AD. He's logging in with his normal uh, workgroup account. The third one is hybrid Azure AD joined, which is my on-prem machine and has synced the identity using Azure AD Connect. This Windows 10 DOM hybrid Azure AD machine is also co-managed using SCCM and Intune. First step would be to install the OneDrive client on these three machines. Already a OneDrive client is there on Windows 10 machines, uh, which I have already uninstalled from these three ones. So I will create one OneDrive uh, application and deploy it from Intune. Here I am in my Intune portal, so I will create a OneDrive app here. I will select Office Suite, Windows 10. In this Office Suite, I will only select OneDrive. Let me rename it on to OneDrive. In the selected office apps only I will select. Here I have now only selected OneDrive desktop, which is the new OneDrive client. This OneDrive groove is the older one. I will leave the 64 bit checked. Semi annual. Latest. Yes. Next. I will assign it to the Azure AD group, which my these three machines are already part of. This AD group I have created earlier and it's a dynamic AD group which will include all the Windows 10 machines in my Azure AD. So let me show you that Azure AD groups. It's a dynamic group. So it will keep on updating if a new machine comes in. So this is the rule which I have set up for Windows 10 machines to get added to this group. So the app is now deployed to this group and hopefully it should deploy to all those three machines. We will look for a particular setting in co-management. Here are my co-management settings and this office click to run apps is currently managed by configuration manager. So we cannot install office 365 apps from Intune to Windows 10 domain joint machines. So I'm going to move it to pilot Intune collection of which my Windows 10 domain join machine is part of. And now the workload should be transferred in Intune. Let's see my Windows 10 domain join machine. So currently it does not show me office uh, click to run apps here, the workload which is managed by Intune as I just transferred it. So I will refresh the policy and we'll come back once it's done. After syncing the policy, we could see that Office Click to Run workload is now being managed by Intune. So hopefully even my domain machine, which is being co-managed, should get uh, OneDrive from Intune now. So let me sync the policy for all these three machines. I will pause the video and come back after installation. Here I am at the uh, app installation status page and it shows that on Windows 10 AAD registered machine, uh, which is my BYOD machine, where user logs on with his workgroup account, uh, the OneDrive is installed. So if I look here, I do not see OneDrive. And in add remove programs, I could see that it has installed Office 365 Pro Plus the Office Click to Run app, which we just installed with only OneDrive selected. 
but I don't see OneDrive anywhere here. Let us wait for others to complete as and then we will see whether OneDrive appears there on those machines or not. Now the OneDrive shows installed on my Azure AD joint machine as well as on my Windows 10 domain joint machine. So let's go to these machines and check the status there. This is my domain joint machine, Win10 Domain 1. And it also shows that uh, Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus got installed. But if I search for OneDrive, I do not see it. Uh, this is just a search result. So let me have a look on my Azure AD joint machine now. Here is my Azure AD joint machine. Even here I see Office 365 Pro Plus installed. But if I look on the machine, I do not see OneDrive anywhere. I don't see any OneDrive client. Now I would try to push the OneDrive client uh, using the offline installer, the exe for it, and package it as a Win32 app and deploy it to all these three machines. And uh, before that, let me uninstall this from all the three machines. I'm going to pause the video now and come back after I remove Office 365 Pro Plus from all the machines and package the OneDrive exe as a win32 app in intune i have now uninstalled the office 365 uh, pro plus from those machines and uh, also packaged onedrive setup.exe as a win32 app this is just a exe which i have packaged using the packaging tool and now i will deploy it to the windows 10 group which i have Now OneDrive will try to install on all, all the three machines, but uh, I know for sure that it will fail on the Windows 10 Azure AD registered machine because one of the prerequisites for installing Win32 app is that the machine should either be Azure AD joined or hybrid AD joined and that machine is only registered. So in this case, we will install OneDrive on that machine manually, but let's wait for OneDrive to install on the other two machines. And I'm going to pause the video now and come back once the installation is finished. Installation is finished now. So this is my Windows 10 Azure AD joint machine. Here we have OneDrive on it. And this is my domain joint machine. Here also we see OneDrive. This is my Win10 Azure AD register. Uh, we do not see OneDrive on it. Uh, it will not install as I said earlier that Win32 apps uh, will not install on Windows 10 Azure AD registered machines from, from Intune. So we will install OneDrive on this machine manually now. I'm going to pause the video while I install OneDrive here. OneDrive is now installed on my Windows 10 AD registered machine as well. So now all the three machines have OneDrive installed, but whenever I open OneDrive, it is asking me to log in. Now we will try to create some policies here and make OneDrive auto login enabled with the logged on user and see whether it works or not. Here I am in my Intune portal. So from here we will apply the OneDrive settings. I will go to device configuration, profile. I will create a profile here and now name it ODFB settings. Platform would be Windows 10 and later. The configuration type would be admin templates. Under the category type, we will click on all products and search for OneDrive. The setting we are looking here is to silently sign in users to the OneDrive sync client with their Windows credential. So I will enable this and move their known folders to OneDrive silently. So I will enable this. I need to provide tenant ID. So this I would get from Azure ID. Here I am in my Azure AD properties. So this is my tenant ID. I will copy it and paste it in the tenant ID field. 
and I will enable the show notification to users after folders have been redirected. I'll click on OK here. There are more settings here, uh, which you normally get in group policies, uh, which you can apply to the users or devices. But uh, for right now, we're going to do these two settings only and check whether the known folders move to OneDrive silently and the sign in also works automatically or not. Apart from settings managed here using these admin templates, there are some global settings as well, which we can manage for OneDrive. So for that, we will go to portal.office.com. We will go to the admin part of it. Show all, all admin centers, OneDrive. Here we can apply some global settings like uh, allow sharing of links, uh, external sharing of data from OneDrive, our sync settings, what, what's the default storage uh, allocated to OneDrive, by default it's uh, one terabyte, uh, OneDrive retention, device access policies, compliance policies, data loss prevention policies, notification. So this is the admin portal for OneDrive. From here, you can set up global settings for security, sync, sharing. Our ODFB settings is ready. And let me deploy it to my device collection now. Okay, it has been applied. I'm going to pause the video and resume after some time once the policy is applied and see whether it works or not. Now I was logged onto these machines and I am started getting these messages that the OneDrive is syncing and think that is as auto logged on on my Azure Ready Join machine, but I don't see that message coming up on my Azure Ready registered. Let's check on our domain machine. Yes, on my domain machine also it uh, auto logged in and it is syncing my files. It has synced the known folders. So this is my desktop. We see that the icons are checked. So that means it is syncing. I go to my OneDrive default directory, my desktop documents, picture. These all are in OneDrive now. The auto login and auto sync is working on my Windows 10 Azure Ready join machine and domain join machine but this is not the case on uh, my windows 10 as already registered machine so far let's check if i open OneDrive, what happens and this could be because i am logged in with my workgroup account and the policy says to log into onedrive with the logged on user account so i have to log in here with my account So it is working here. Let me create a folder here and see whether it appears on other machines or not. Sync testing and create a file in it. Testing. Let me check whether it comes up on this machine or not. Yep sure it does and on my domain machine as well yep sure it comes here as well so in this video we have seen uh, how we can deploy onedrive and manage it through intune on our windows 10 domain join machines hybrid machines which are co-managed and also on windows 10 as already registered machines in my case, my domain joint hybrid machine is co-managed and the device configuration and client apps workload has been transferred to Intune. So I was able to deploy and manage it. Otherwise, if it's a domain joint machine uh, without co-management, then you have to deploy OneDrive from SCCM and manage it through group policies. So that's the benefit of uh, 
integrating sccm and intune and uh, moving the workload so you can manage everything from one place and in the near future when uh, we won't have much of sccm and everything would be on intune so this would be the way to manage apps and policies if you liked my video please uh, like share and subscribe to my channel as i will be making some more videos regarding azure office 365 intune sccm and thanks for watching this video.